Hello, everyone. I'm here to share with you how to use our uh, Ohio State Standards spreadsheet that was developed a few years ago, uh, years, years ago. Um, you'll see that this has, and it's hard to see this right now, but we'll close that down. You can see across the bottom here, we have different tabs. This current sheet has all the tabs on it. Then if you just want to break down into your specific content area, you can see they're all here, including handwriting, and some of the ones you may not even know that we have, but here's the new social emotional ones, technology standards, and world language. So all these things are here for your use. Now, how do you use this? And it doesn't matter what sheet you're on. All you have to do is go into the filters that are here. You can see that they have these three little bars across the top in each one of the categories. All you do is click on one of these, and you'll see that you'll have all the grade levels pop up. Now, I want to make you aware that as you're looking at these, you see grades one through eight, and then you also have some other uh, categories. And I broke them down to, based on our current school situation. So the elementary and intermediate means that there's standards that span three, four, five, six, for instance. So you can see that you have all these different standards, including kindergarten. I do not have pre-K on there yet. So let's say that you are a eighth grade teacher. We're going to clear all these and we're just going to select eighth grade but you may also want to look at anything that has middle school in it so right here and i see if there's any more but there's one more here and click ok now when you do that you'll have all the eighth grade standards plus all of your middle school standards and you can see there's quite a few there's a middle school in financial literacy so when you look at these you can then go course band but if you want to do subject and you want to just clear all the ones that are here Let's say you want to do English and financial literacy because you're doing a cross-curricular lesson. You click OK, and just those standards will come up. So then you can see right here all the standards that you're looking at for grade 8 and for financial literacy and uh, e economics and speaking and listening. Everything you need is right here. Then if you ever want to just go back, you just go ahead and click this and clear. OK. Whoops. And... You see, I got to the very end of the page, so that's crazy. But I'm also going to do this here, subject, which is, oh, that's what I did. I need to select all, OK, and select all here, which is OK. I did the opposite of what I wanted to do. And there, it's all that. So that also proves that you really can't mess it up too bad. So if you're interested in wanting to use this, just ask me for a copy, and I'll be happy to share.